We all have people that we look up to, whether it's a brother or sister, or a friend at church, or even a youth minister. One person that I look up to is Matt. Um, maybe because of his beard, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, but also, it's because he's a really good singer. He's got into Allstate twice, which is really hard. And, um, but most importantly, he's a godly person. We should avoid worldly examples, follow godly examples, and be godly examples. My verse is 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verses 6 through 14. And it's talking about how we shouldn't be idle and we should follow Paul's example whenever he was there and he wasn't idle. And through, while reading this, I came up this, with this one thing. Do not be idle, but work hard in whatever we do. Now my first point, avoid bad examples. So 1 Thessalonians 6 and 14. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we command you, brothers and sisters, to keep away from every believer who is idle and disruptive and does not live according to the teaching you receive from us. Now 14. Take special note of anyone who, is, who does not obey our instruction in this letter. Do not associate them with them in order that they may feel ashamed. So Paul's saying here that we should avoid the bad examples in our lives and so we don't start following them, such as in 1 Corinthians 15.33, whenever Paul says, bad company corrupts good morals. And like for teenagers, we shouldn't like go into, start going into drugs or like avoid the people that are doing drugs and stuff or else we may start following their examples. And I guess for the older people, casinos and stuff, we shouldn't not go into casinos. And, um, so, um, which brings me to my next point, follow good examples, which is seven through nine. For you yourselves know how you ought to follow our example. We were not idle when we were with you, nor did we eat anyone's food without paying for it. On the contrary, we worked night and day, laboring and toiling, so that we would not be a burden to any of you. We did this not because we do not have the right to such help, but in order to offer ourselves as a model for you to imitate. So Paul's saying that we should imitate his model that like how he was working hard while he was with the Te Thessalonians and how we should work hard and be and follow good examples that he was like, whenever a kid that's not working hard is and getting bad grades is wanting to be like the kid that's working hard and getting good grades, so he'll most likely follow the kid that's doing getting good grades. And finally, um, be good examples, which is 10 through 13. For even when we were with you, we gave you this rule. The one who is unwilling to work shall not eat. We hear that some among you are idle and disruptive. They are not busy, they are busy bodies. Such people we command and urge in the Lord Jesus Christ to settle down and earn the food they eat. As for you brothers and sisters, never tire of what is doing of doing what is good. So he saying here that we should be good examples ourselves and that um, that we sh 
should be busy, not busy bodies. Like, if you're a busy body, you'll be into everybody else's business. Like, oh, this person's doing this and gossiping and all that. And um, we should be busy in order so we're into our own business instead of other people's. And in conclusion, there are three kinds of examples. The one you don't want to be, or follow, the one you want to be, and the one that you want to follow. Are you being a good example to the people around you? Are you fo following good examples and not bad ones? Thank you.